was pop and I'm back on showdown always bringing the craziest sets and heat teams for you all. Today is no exception, while the team in front of you may look standard, I assure you it's anything but that. Before I show you all the team I'd like for you all to leave a comment. Tell me a Pokemon with a pathetic offensive stat that you'd like to see a video with one day, utilizing that stat I'd like to know because I was suggested to use choice spec scissor. And here it is, <laughs> as you can see. Well, it's more of a mixed choice spec scissor, but it's spec scissor nevertheless. If you haven't already subscribed by now after seeing this choice spec scissor, I'm gonna kindly ask you to make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the heat sets like these. So with this set here, we have Bullet Punch and U-Turn to bluff the fact that we are not a choice spec scissor, right? Bullet Punch, U-Turn are pretty common on scissor. Then we have Air Slash. With 208 Special Attack, Air Slash always Oko's Buzzwool, Vacuum Wave always Oko's Offensive Kartana. And so this is actually really unique because Pokemon like Buzzwool will be able to easily shrug off bullet punches and U-turns and stuff like that. Probably the defensive Rocky Helmet sets as well can punish Scizor, but with Air Slash we can Oko Buzzwool. Similarly, with bullet punch U-turn, like a defensive Scizor or something can't really take out Kartana, and if it's Swords Dance Kartana, it could easily overwhelm Scizor. Not with Vacuum Wave, Vacuum Wave will just send it into oblivion. And so I have enough speed to outrun defensive Buzzwool, the standard set, and yeah, just put the rest into attack with Naughty Nature, just to think we are an offensive physical scissor, but we're actually a mixed choice specs scissor, mixor. I like that. So it's going to be fun to see if we can make this Pokemon put in work. Vacuum Wave is, of course, technician boosted, so we'll be able to get that additional damage off on those kinds of Pokemon. It also Oko's Weavile, I think, if I'm not mistaken, but maybe I am mistaken. It's times 4 super effective on that Pokemon, but we'll see what happens. Rillaboom is what I paired with it, because if we get rid of Buzzwool, and if we get rid of Kartana, Rillaboom can spam Grassy Glide. It's just one of those kinds of Pokemon that benefit from those mons being gone. And that's how I kind of built the team around Choice Spec Scizor, eliminating those kinds of Pokemon for Rillaboom to put in the work. And of course, we have Blacephalon as well, which is just a great Pokemon overall. Sub CM is a great stall breaker, and it can just put in a lot of work versus many teams. Love the speed boosting nature of this Pokemon because its speed is one point faster than Special Attack. Then we have uh, Jirachi for uh, Wish Protect. Being able to heal up the team and a good Tapu Lele answer because Scizor is not really a great response to Tapu Lele at all. Um, so then we have a uh, nice Spideff Lando with Rocky Helmet, Rock Tome so that we can hit up Volcarona and Defog. I don't have rocks on this team, I don't think I need it, but last Pokemon here is going to be Beat Up Weavile. It's more important to keep rocks off of the field because we want Weavile to not take any rocks damage. If we are setting up rocks and they're setting up rocks, we're going to Defog. It's just going to be a, a little bit of a hassle. So defog ultimately just to remove all hazards so that beat up Weavile with Adamant Nature can put in the work. I, I think Adamant's good. I could also run Jolly, but Adamant's got that additional power. Plus we have priority with um, Rillaboom Scizor and of course Ice Shard. So seems pretty good to get the most out of beat up. But that's going to be the squad. Let's go ahead and hop into our first game and try to get some knockouts versus Buzzwool, Kartana. Hopefully we could do that. Hopefully we can. <laughs> That'd be kind of fun. Um, oh, Kartana and Bisharp. Oh, Kartana and Bisharp here. We could actually vacuum wave those potentially. So this actually could be a sticky web squad is what I'm thinking. I'm kind of tempted to just lead with Blacephalon here and just flamethrower turn one. Could work. And we burn the Swamper, which is kind of nice. Kind of nice for sure. So I feel like he's going to get rocks up here. We can just uh, defog potentially could work. I feel like that's an option in case he wants to like i mean if he goes hard zapdos we're fine because we have ice shard and bullet punch and all kinds of stuff so this is fine uh, i'm just gonna rock tome here even though it's gonna well i guess i could u-turn yeah i die anyways so now what we do here is we go probably weavile could work and just click beat up doing a lot of damage to this mon and then gonna probably do it again. Is the Iron Heads? So then we go into Rillaboom, right? Rillaboom can U-turn. Get some good damage on this. Blacephalon gets to come in. And we get to click Flamethrower here. I'm gonna just sub. So he flip turns out, and Kartana's in. 
Cortana, of course, being a threat as always. I'm gonna go Scizor and knock this out. Hopefully he stays in, hopefully he stays in. Please. Please stay in, please. That'd be so nice. Ah, yes. <laughs> Cartana gone. Ah. So Zapdos actually could be banded, which actually would be good for Blacephalon. We knock that out, which is great. Absolutely fantastic. And I have uh, no concern about webs because we have priority. But that's nice. <laughs> Actually got the knockout there. On Kartana. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, and things are weakened too, which is pretty good for, uh, for Blacephalon. Just gotta get some chip here and there and we'll be good to go. He said, okay, bro. <laughs> Thumbnail text received. So Zapdos is in. We just uh, vacuum wave this too. So he'll Brave Bird again. Then I think we just uh, Gorilla Boom, Grassy Glide, a bunch of stuff. <laughs> it's pretty nice. Okay, let's just... Uh, I think we could probably glide this thing too. Doing some damage there. He does have Bug Buzz to knock me out. But now we can, I think, just uh, Shadow Ball this. Or we actually Calm Mind up here, which is a good play. I think Calm Mind here is the play. Mm-hmm, nice. Shadow Ball here. I think we can live. He's burned and there's Grassy Terrain up. Look at us eating that up though, look at us eating that up. Eating it up. Uh, nice, we're behind the sub now. And I think that's pretty good for us. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm, knocked it out. Last is Coco. And gone. GG. Very good game. Very, very good game to start it off. <laughs> good game. That's, uh, that was fire. First game, I mean, we were, like, super down. And I've only been testing this team a little bit. Just because uh, I have had like many different variations of um, this team while I've been testing. And it's been like, I mean, it's been kind of mixed. Like, as mixed as Scizor with the, with the games, but this one was like absolutely fire. O-Code Cartana with Vacuum Wave <laughs> came through in the end with Blitzephalon. That's how you do it. That's absolutely how you do it. Nice. Just makes me really happy to see uh, the first game magic though. The first game magic. With uh, with Scizor, I mean, oftentimes when I'm building around a featured Pokemon or a featured uh, strategy, it just uh, it feels good to see the featured Mon putting in the work in the very first game itself, not having to wait until a while. Which I mean, I've been pretty lucky in that regard. I've definitely been fortunate. Cartana, yes, 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 yes. Let's see how many uh, Cartanas we can actually knock out in this video. That would be clean, absolutely clean. I think my lead here is definitely going to be uh. I think Landorus is actually not a bad lead here. Weavile is also not a bad lead. Gonna lead, uh, lead Weavile here. I'll lead Weavile. He could lead Coco. Even Rillaboom's not a bad lead either. I'm gonna lead Rillaboom. Ah, nice. <laughs> I got it. I, I chose the right one. And he stayed in. Um, Jirachi's my play. Gonna just go Rillaboom. Once again, could work. He does have flamethrower. I'm gonna U-turn out here. 
Nice. Metal Metal comes in. We get to go into Blacephalon. I think in probably just uh, Flamethrower here. This Dragonite could be Defog Dragonite potentially. I'm actually going to go Weavile. So you'll Roost. And I think we can just probably click Beat Up here into Slowbro. Let's see how much this does. It's going to hit six times. An Oko. <laughs> and that's how you run Adamant Weavile right there. Not bad at all. Jirachi's the switch here. He's going to U-turn out. So Slowbro's gone out of the picture. Definitely what you love to see. So Kartana's in. I'm definitely going Landers here. And then U-turning out. Because we can U-turn out and basically go Weavile every single time. Oh, actually, wait a second. <gasps> Scizor, come through, come through. Scizor. No, he, he switched. He switched. He knows now, he knows. <laughs> That's most unfortunate. But we can wish, and I can Iron Head now. Or just Fire Punch here, predicting Kartana to come in. But we burned this thing actually, which is pretty good instead. So now we got the uh, consistent chip going on here. <laughs> I think he just switched out because he was at minus one. Um, so we're just going to wish up here into Weavile, I think, is the play. Okay, so he's just a classic Dragon Dance set. Mm. What's my play? Uh, so he's Roost, which means he's probably not E speed. If I go this thing, and then I U-turn out here, I think. I should be able to go Weavile and Ice Shard now. So yeah, exactly. He's scared. And now he's chipped as well. Pretty good. So here I think I just go into... Okay, so we know this Kartana is probably scarfed. Maybe I do keep Scizor around <laughs> for that purpose. Could go Landers here. I definitely think Blacephalon's a win con. Landers is nice to keep around though. Hmm. It's tough. I'm gonna go with Jirachi. Oh, he actually Earthquakes turn one. So I don't think he's banded. I think banded would have done a lot more. Yeah, exactly. True. Nice. And then here I can just Earthquake for some damage. Because that's all the damage we really need, right? We go Blacephalon here. And now we can just uh, Shadow Ball pretty safely. Although, I'm surprised he actually just did that instead of Earthquaking. If you wanted to stay and actually make the play. <laughs> yeah, so Kartana's in. Um, don't have my landers. I'm just going to go Scizor. Go right for the U-turn. Can't vacuum wave here. Yeah, so landers comes in. Get to bring in Weavile. And then we get to get a knockout here with Triple Axel. Looking pretty good. And gone. So Landers being gone is very nice. We just got to keep Weavile around and Ice Shard a bunch of stuff. Kartana's in, so definitely we switch out here into... Scizor. So he Leaf Blades. Gets the crit. I think I U-turn every single time. Or a Vacuum Wave here. So he goes Dragonite. I will U-turn out. I'm actually, I'm, at, I'm faster? Huh? <laughs> I didn't even know that. So I go hard revile then in that case. Hard revile. Because we can just triple axle again and knock something out once more. And it's going to be Coco gone. <laughs> so then here we just uh, sack something else. We sack Jirachi here. So he's plus one. We go Scizor. Always vacuum wave every single time. Always. And then we just, I think, Hard Weavile. Definitely a triple axle here. He should not have E speed. Yep, because he's a DD Roost. Then this thing is back. All we do here is sack Blacephalon. Go Scizor. 
vacuum wave and gone <laughs> let's go see he tried to run away he tried to run from the vacuum wave he was he was trying to run away from it but you can't really run away from vacuum wave scissor if you're a cartana you can run but you can't hide or you can't run forever because this is an assassin right here. this is a cartana assassin <laughs> this pokemon here it will hunt down every cartana Vacuum Wave Scizor. Two for two on Cartana knockouts. Three for three though? Wait, three for three? This might be uh This might be the one. <laughs> or another one I should say. Uh okay, cool. So maybe I just lead here with Rillaboom could work as a lead. And just you turn out here. Perhaps. I mean is he Dragon Dance? Kinda led with it, so I assume maybe. He might be, so maybe I just go here into... I could probably go into... Landers, not Landers, mm, Blacephalon maybe? I could, yeah, I could probably go Blacephalon and just sub here. Nice, and then just calm mind up. Shadow Ball for some damage. Hit the Dragonite. That's through multi-scale. So it's going to do like 50 now. I go Dragonite here. Oh, sorry, sorry. Landorus on Dragonite. You turn out as he probably would go for Ice Beam, maybe? Yep. So I figured he'd be that kind of set. Let's beat up here. Should knock it out. Yeah, nice. So that Pokemon's gone. Blaziken is in. This Pokemon, of course, is a threat. Is definitely a threat. I'm going to beat up this thing, too. He's on a balloon as well, so definitely a threat. Now it's popped. <laughs> so he'll close combat, knock me out. I probably could knock this out with Vacuum Wave in theory, but I'm gonna do I'm gonna save the Vacuum Wave for the Kartana in particular. So we go really boom and Grassy Glide here. Weavile is gone, unfortunately, but I think it's okay. That does a decent amount of damage, I must say. So he'll set, set up rocks here. We just defog. And then... I see leftovers. I'm just going to U-turn out here into... Rillaboom again. And just wood hammer this time. To knock it out. That Pokemon's gone. Just got to be careful. Oh, Pex is in though. Why would he bring it on this thing? I'm actually going to go uh, Landris and defog here. Because I want rocks gone. Yeah, definitely Earthquake here. And then... Oh, Stockpile? <laughs> stockpile Toxapex. Definitely going to Earthquake again. And so now I get to go into... Rillaboom here. Probably Grassy Glides the play. Yeah, that's doing quite a lot. I think he's going to go... Um, Kartana. This is my... Watch it. Watch my play. Watch my play. Watch this play. No! He switched. He switched. <laughs> Please. I have to wood hammer. Please just knock this out. Please. <laughs> okay, just do it again. Alright, so this is definitely a problem. You, know, you turn out here. I could not knock out the Kartana. He switched out. He switched out. That's crazy. Just wood hammer against the play. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we're, we're in a good spot now. We're in a definite good spot here. I think we just uh, go Scizor again. And Vacuum Wave here. <laughs> that, did it. that did quite enough. Because now I just get to go Rillaboom and Glide. So actually, in a way, we did get to hit the next one. So that's quite fantastic. And so this thing is in. We just go into Jirachi. Protect to avoid any roll. Get a little damage. And then win the game with Grassy Glide. So of course, you already know, the king of skills is to the king of teams. I am the king of teams. That's actually one of my accounts. Not bad. Um, so we hit Vacuum Wave in all three games. Two of them knocked out the Kartana. One of them weakened it enough so that we could win the Rillaboom. So I'm happy about that. So I guess now we just got to find a Buzzwool. If I could find a Buzzwool and Air Slash, that would be um, really nice. Definitely going to tweet out the... Uh, Definitely gonna tweet out the Kartana when I can. 
the vacuum wave cartana should definitely do well so this guy's rocking oh an, a cartana we're finding so many cartana see this is exactly why i think choice spec scissor is best run in sword and shield ou because of cartana everywhere every single game we just have is a cartana love to see it so we're gonna lead here with weavile and i think just i mean he's gonna knock us out hmm with flash cannon i think we need to keep weavile but like at the same time he has ways of beating it i'm gonna beat up turn one he toxics <laughs> he toxics instead of attacking that's perfect that's absolutely perfect we stayed in turn one <laughs> and he predicted landers and toxic ah i feel powerful finney's in that did a lot he has no recovery either i think he is choice scarfed don't want to go Jirachi, don't want to go... I, I could go Rillaboom here, actually. I think Rillaboom's fine. So we have Moonblasts here. All we got to do is just glide. Not going to overpredict or anything, just going to attack what's in front of me. That also could be Specs. No, I think that's Scarf. I think it's... Hmm, not sure. Let's get a lot of damage on this, though. I'm going to glide again. Heal you turn out. So now this Landris is super weak, which means that... Cephalon can easily pick it off. Yeah, so he goes into that. We're just going to go Jirachi here. And then double out to Rillaboom. And Superpower. Nice. Magnazone gone. Oh, he was Helmet. Oh, no. I lost my Rillaboom. Which is not too bad anyways. I mean, I'm not too worried about that. So I guess I go Scizor... And bullet punch here. Knock out Landris. But he doesn't know I have the uh, vacuum wave. So Finny's in. We just go into Jirachi here. I think Jirachi could work. Or yeah. Let's go Jirachi. So he'll surf. Nice. We can now just click wish. Or fire punch. This is not going to do anything to me. So I can just attack. And Lele is gone, which is amazing. Which is absolutely amazing. Switch the terrain up. So I don't even know which terrain his Halucha is going to be. <laughs> He's surfing again, so we're just going to wish up again. I don't think he can win this game, really. I want to see if I can get the vacuum wave, though. I really do. Who do I sack to make that happen? I'm going to go Landris. You turn out. Definitely you turn out. Here's the play. And then we go Scizor. You turn out here. Uh, he knows about the specs. <laughs> he knew about it. But he knocks us off now, which is great, because now I can just vacuum wave. I can show him the vacuum wave. Come on, go ahead, Scizor, knock it out. Nice. So four vacuum waves. Four for four on vacuum waves in every game. Just what you love to see. Let's go ahead and bullet punch this. And he tricks me. Nice. I'm now choice scarfed. Beautiful. Go ahead and U-turn out here into Jirachi. And let's go ahead and wish up our scissor. Actually, no, we don't have to wish up anything. We just iron it here. Because we can ice shard in the end anyways. So let's go ahead and do that. Just iron head. Everything on his team to ice shard in the end. And win the game. So I think we'll also live this too. Definitely. Never mind. <laughs> of course we're not. I actually want to see... Um... Well, we're not faster than because we have choice. We could bullet punch him. Or we could even make a better play and vacuum wave him. That's not even going to be a good play, actually. I'll bullet punch and win. Imagine if it did like 2% and then... He subbed, and then we couldn't break his sub, and then he won somehow. Can't be doing that. Not a bad game at all. Got to see uh, um, Scizor put in the work once again. And the whole team itself was doing quite fantastically. I'm glad he actually stayed in with Magnus on turn one and just clicked Toxic. <laughs> Didn't go for any attacks or anything. 
Maybe he didn't have a way to knock out, um, well, if he was Rocky Helmet, he should have had Body Press at least. But he was probably predicting Landers. I think most Landers should have spit up anyways. Oh, a Rain Team. This is not going to be the Scizor matchup at all, but it's fine. I'm just going to lead with it because it's the most I can do with this kind of team. Weavile is also a really good lead as well, but I'm going to save Weavile for later. Just lead off with this Pokemon here. I'm going to go for the nice uh, Choice Specs Air Slash. Doing 30. All the chip we need. So I actually did click Air Slash in this video, which is great. You can have this Pokemon. Now what I want to do here is Gorilla Boom. I think Grassy Glide's the play. Thunderous is in, and that's a 2 hit KO, isn't it? And these things don't run Hurricane either, so it's pretty good. Yep, that's gone. Azelf is in, it's probably Sashed. I'm going Landers. Yep, Sash Explosion probably. So definitely wanted to save that Pokemon. Barascuta is in. Can just U-turn here, give him a little chip. Kingdra's back. Rain is two turns left, so I'm going to go Jirachi, Protect first, and then Wish. So let's go ahead and Wish here. That does a lot. <laughs> like, a lot. And so I can Wish again. He'll probably U-turn here. So I think I just... Uh, I could iron head. I could actually iron head flinch this thing down to stall the rain turns out. I'm gonna protect. So one turn of rain left now. I think I just uh, I go hard Rillaboom. No, I don't go hard Rillaboom. I go hard Weavile. And then we click choice banded triple axle. Yep, no more rain. <laughs> good game, good game. GG once again, as uh, as you can see here. All we have to do is get rid of the Pelipper, no more rain, and then everything else basically just wins at that point in time. So this team beating rain as well, not really the Scizor matchup that we want for, or not really the um, the kind of scenario we want for Scizor, but still we click Air Slash and did 30% to defensive Pelipper. So I can kind of give you an idea of how much it would do to Buzzle. I mean, I, you already know Buzzle gets o code by that. It's uh, it's pretty nice. Ooh, actually, maybe we could vacuum wave. Okay, so we got air slash. We got vacuum wave. Vac oh, vacuum wave the uh, cloister. Ooh, wait a second. That could be good. That could be good. <laughs> I'm thinking Blacephalon is a good lead because we could just flamethrower turn one, and there's like no switching to this Pokemon right here, which is what you love to see. Ooh, we got send out into this thing. Even better. Beat ups the play. For sure, we're going to make sure that this Mew cannot set up any hazard whatsoever. Not today. So now, what is he going to go into? Probably, I don't know, Halucha? Halucha, I guess, could work. Or Bisharp. Okay. So I think Weavile is extremely valuable. Going to just... Uh, Hmm, maybe I don't need Jirachi as much as I thought. I'm gonna go Jirachi. And then click Wish. Or Fire Punch here could work. Deal Sucker Punch. Let's go into Scizor. And Vacuum Wave. Yes, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> ah. Beautiful, beautiful. Just what you love to see. So here I'm going to go Landers on this Gengar. I'm Spideff. Nasty Plot should not knock me out, I think. Because I'm Spideff Landers. I'm ready to just destroy everything else with this uh, special Scizor. I lived. Okay, nice. So if it lived, that means that we can just... Gorilla Boom, Grassy Glide here. Should be the, the move. Yep, knock it out. Halucha now is in, which means that we just Grassy Glide this as well. Yeah, definitely Grassy Glide this, I think, is the play. Now we go Weavile. 
and then just uh, ice shard. This should knock it out, I think. Maybe. We're banded. Adamant. Plus one defense. Hmm. We'll see. It's super effective, so we'll see what happens. I'm happy to see what happens here, but I think a vacuum wave is going to destroy this. Uh... Oh, it lived. Unfortunate. <laughs> Very unfortunate. Um, okay, so I'm going to go with Scizor. And just... Uh... Actually, I think my play is to U-turn. I think it's the better play. U-turn into Blacephalon. Because now we can just flamethrower the Cloister, I think. Unless it's Sash or something, which I hope it's not. I would hope it's not. So we're going to just uh, flamethrower here. This is the play. So yeah, it's going to be Sashed. Just tough. Very tough. So then this thing can come in. We can vacuum wave here, but then we're locked into it. So actually bullet punch, I think is better. Nah, but that's doing too much. Unfortunate. I have lost the first game. <laughs> I have lost the first game. Specs are, I did a decent job, but there's a tough, tough one to play around. I think. What could I have done different? Uh, I don't know. He just had too much offense. Maybe saved uh, Rillaboom. Perhaps could have worked. Because that could have come in handy at the end. But he had Sash on everything. Actually, because I didn't have rocks <laughs> on this team, I kind of deterred it. Or I could have gone hard Scizor on the Bisharp. That could have worked. Instead of going Jirachi. Because I thought he was going to knock off. And it's, it's, the mentality, it's the mentality that I have. Like Every single time I feature a Pokemon, I never want to go into it. I never want to sack it or, or anything like that. I wanted to put in the work in every single game. <laughs> so that also kind of probably deterred me a bit. However, this guy's team is very nice. This person's team has... Scizor, or sorry, Scyther, and I have Scizor. It's going to be a fun one, I'm sure. Definitely beat up here is the play. This better not be a choice guard. Okay, so he's a choice guard from you. I, w I wonder if, he, I mean, I don't think Flamethrower could going to knock me out. How much is this going to do? Let's see. That's good. That's damage. That is damage. My play is going Landers and U-turning. I think is what I do. U-turn here. Earthquake's not a bad play either. Actually, he might expect... Okay, so Scyther, now I get to Rock Tomb. Now I get to Rock Tomb here. Yep. Gone. That was like... Was that banded? <laughs> that did a lot. Definitely banded right there. But we got rid of Scyther, which is nice. Very nice. Latios is in. We have a Jirachi as a counter, I think. I forgot Mystical Fire. It's been a while since I've done a decent Sword and Shield, like seeing Mystical Fire. Maybe, did I see Mystical Fire in the Greedon video? I don't remember. But that's Specs. So I'm going into you, and I'm going to double. Actually, I'm going to Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball or double? I kind of want to double, but maybe not. So Blastoise is in. I think I just... I think I go Jirachi. And then Protect. So he's going to Mystical Fire again. I'm actually just going to go Landorus here. Don't need this Pokemon for much. Now I go Weavile. And I click Knock. No way they're staying in, right? Yep, exactly. Get rid of the Rocky Helmet, which could be pretty useful, perhaps. And I think here I can just uh, Shadow Ball. Spit F Drop, which is pretty good. I'm going Rillaboom here. So we're weakening this thing, which is great. Mirror code, nice. Okay, cool. So now I'm going to click Woodhammer. Or I think I click U-turn. Yeah, U-turn here into Blacephalon. 
Shadow Ball's the play. So I think this game is definitely winnable. We just have to uh, do the right thing every time. Ooh, Burnout. It's pretty cool. I'm going to Combine here. I think that might Morning Sun. Yeah, nice. Not a Shadow Ball. And if I get the speed boost, I think we might win, maybe. He roars me into that. Triple Axel looks pretty free. Or knockoff could work too. I think uh Knockoff probably gets rid of this thing. <laughs> I didn't want to miss. Oh come on. Alright, time to knock something out with the wood hammer. And it lived. Arcanine is bulky. Good lord. So I guess I don't need uh, Drachi for much here. I'm going to keep Scizor around because that actually could be useful. It actually could be useful. I think I want to go Weavile and click knock. Good, good. They don't know the power of 349 speed. <laughs> Scaring away the 350s. I hate why people run Adamant. I mean, it does a lot of, um, a lot more power, of course, but it's just, uh, this is such a weird speed tier. I mean, you scare, you scare things off, definitely, but it's just so weird. Um, yeah, so he has Flamethrower, knocks me out. I'm going into Blacephalon now. I think just clicking Shadow Ball. He's locked in, so I just need a speed boost. I need a speed boost so I can just start knocking things out. Citrus Berry. This was like Max Bidef Citrus Berry. Good lord. Yep, in comes Lottie. I have to bullet punch here. Going to Blacephalon. It's actually kind of winnable now because of uh, Grassy Glide. Definitely could be winnable. Gonna go Rillaboom here. Let's lock ourselves into Grassy Glide now. Because now that Latios is weakened, that's uh, that's actually pretty good for us. And I don't think we get knocked out by Mew, though we might. So yeah, Mew's in. Definitely win Blacephalon here. Nice, nice. Excellent. Shadow Ball time. There's a definitely a way we can win this, I think. <laughs> I hope. Would be kind of clean if we do. To end it off. Nice. And then this will get knocked out here. Then we get the speed boost against Mew. Then we get the Grassy Glide twice to win the game. I think. So yeah, definitely. Um, I think a vital mistake letting Lottie get damaged. Mew's in. Yep, let's damage this thing. We just need damage on this. All we need. Earth Power knocks us out. We get to go Rillaboom. Grassy Glide twice to hopefully win the game. Mm-hmm. That's gone. Last Pokemon is Mamoswine, which hopefully isn't sashed. It is sashed. But it could be adamant. Could be adamant and not jolly. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yes, indeed. Ah, good game. 
That's, I think, a great spot to end this video off. Got to see the power of Spec Scizor in pretty much most of the games. We got to click Vacuum Wave on Kartana. And ultimately, Spec Scizor is the Kartana Destroyer, the Kartana Assassin. This Pokemon right here, you already know. If you thought, I mean, of course, you know, Scissor beats paper, right? Scissors beat paper and rock, paper, scissors. So you already know, Scissor has to beat Kartana, which is paper. <laughs> I just realized that too. That's actually amazing. I didn't even realize that until now. Wow. Okay, so I'm glad I actually remember that. So scissor always beats paper. <laughs> Excellent. So yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, like I said in the beginning of the video. Let me know in the comments. Um, a Pokemon that has pathetic offensive stats that you'd like to see in a video one day. Like, for in instance, Spec Scizor is just one of them. As you can see, it has base 55 special attacks. I mean, it's not the worst, but it's not its not good at all. <laughs> it's not good. Not one bit. But, um, like, I did Specs Machamp, I think, and it actually put in a lot of work before. So, um, yeah, I look forward to hearing from you all, as always. Drop a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.